Hello everybody. It has been a while since early spring. However, it's been nuts in my life between school. I've been, I changed majors. So no longer going down the medical route, going to business and focus my life and career on that more. Um, I broke my foot while I was in Miami and I was trying to film out there this past summer, but literally within 24 hours of me landing, I broke my foot, ate shit. Um, don't wear stilettos on Ocean Drive. Um, there were potholes, clearly, and I had my heel get stuck in a pothole and I went down. So that was it. Went to the hospital. It was a shit show. But finally recovered. For the most part, I'm doing physical therapy. Um, yeah, but it takes a long time to break to heal whatever bone you broke and I since I was my foot and then part of my ankle this has been far too long with taking it easy but I'm doing well and I have been wanting to film a lot of content but like I said it's been nuts. Obviously I have red hair now and I love it. I miss having it. I've had it on and off within the years so she's back and yeah so um, my dating life has been insane as well. It's kind of been a shit show, I guess, you know, at the end of the day. But going out tonight, so we'll see how this dude is. But in, until then. As you recall from my previous videos, I'm using my same Laura Mercier translucent medium deep powder as well as my MAC NC45 concealer. And this one is the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which is my almost everyday palette, so it's been used a lot. That's the mulberry color that I start my eyeshadow with. It's one of my favorites. It's a nice deep red color. Um, I've noticed it does have a little bit of a dark tint to it, and for me, that is perfect. I love deep red burgundy type of eyeshadow colors. Um, you can definitely do a lot and play a lot with those colors and you can either make it more subtle or even have more of just like a sultry look or even just throw that on with some eyelashes it's still that perfect color that pops very well so now we are with Huda Beauty's textured palette the rose gold edition and that's also one of my other go-to's and I start out with bossy it is a little more red although it's still in the burgundy family I love how when I combine mulberry as well as bossy it kind of creates that smoky look just a tad because of the darker pigmentation that mulberry has so what I do is I just blend them all together which gives them more of a defined eye and yes giving you the reds giving you the burgundies I love them together these two of a combo I have done many many times and if you want to create a nice fall look there you go Now, I grab my flat Morphe brush, which is the M434, and I use that to cut my crease, and I am also still using my MAC concealer, which is the NC45. So I just, I don't fully do a cut crease, it's just a little bit right on the top of the lid, because I'm going to be adding a lighter eyeshadow color.
to focusing. Uh, as you guys know, I am using the Morphe palette 350 Nature Glow, which I've used before in other videos. So with these palettes, there aren't specific names for each shadow, so it's just the name of the palette itself. So I'm just literally pointing at which ones that I use first and then go from there. I swear that color is going to be used up before the end of this year. I use it so much. But I like how it has this orange undertone to it, but it's still dark. So as you can see, I'm kind of putting it more at the end of my eyeball. Or eyelid, not my eyeball. Girl, get it together. Um, yes, I have them each on towards the end of the eyelid and then you can see how it also it kind of has like a translucent color to it like a nice little shimmer to it so when you mix the other colors just how easily it gradually blends in so beautifully makes my life simpler Okay, so now I'm using a little more of a darker version of that last one. Um, actually, I'm mixing both of those. I didn't even realize I did those, but okay, yeah. Makeup is unpredictable. But anyways, they're both really pretty. I really enjoy the Morphe Fall palette. Um, you can't go wrong with any of those colors, especially that they all work so well, even for just the most subtle look ever. And as you see, I'm putting that more towards the inner part. I forgot what they call it, the eye drop or the duct, whatever they call it. Uh, a moment for that broken thumbnail, that ghetto ass looking finger, which is literally getting fixed this week because that's unacceptable. My God, I'm so rough with my nails, by the way. Extremely rough. I love my long claws, but Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's the lighter. I know the lighting does not help, but it is a nice pinkish, little bit of peach shimmer, which I also packed that on top of the eyeball. Just a little bit, because you don't want to take away the other colors too much. And you just blend them just a little bit in. And then you can blend the rest of the colors just a little bit. That way it doesn't take away all of the colors. So I like how it's enough. So I barely, honestly, blend inside the duct area. But then with the other colors, you just continue to blend a little more, depending on your preference. So it's not necessarily based on mine, but however you feel looks great on you, then have at it. I, te I tend to switch the lights because for some reason my ring light, it's pretty bright and it has different filters, but sometimes it tends to white me out a little bit. And when it comes to putting on the colors, the colors don't necessarily show up as intensely as I need them to. Anyways, back onto Anastasia's Soft Glam Palette. These are the last two colors, the brown and the black, which are the only colors left. I forgot the name of them, but... They're the only two darkest colors there. So I actually mix the brown and the black a little bit. It's such a soft palette, a soft eyeshadow palette. So just be gentle because you really don't need that much. But I put those at the end to at least create a little bit of smokiness. But as you can see, like how delicate it is, like how it just the fallout is kind of real. But I love, absolutely love that palette. Uh, 
and then I go back with the mulberry and in this case this is just me for myself but you don't have to you can literally just stop at the smoky part but I just like to add a little more of that dark red just around just to add a little more color but it's based on your preference doesn't matter really and then I get my bullet brush to now start with my eyebrows so just I blend in the rest of the concealer that I put on top to define my eyebrows but also too with that brush it's nice that it at least also cleans up the top part of my eyeshadow on top of the eyelid and then just dust off the fallout with my Kat Von D big powder brush you can kind of tell that there is a little bit of residue from the dark shadow from the soft glam, so you can either do one or two ways, wipe just a tad, or just add more concealer on it, So, which I do eventually. But I go back to my Huda Beauty, and I use my lighter one, which is Henna, and I put that on top of the eyeshadow, like right, right under the brow bone. arch out and what I tend to do also and I'll post another video as far as just focusing on eyebrows in particular um, I definitely like to have that more natural fade from the beginning and then going into full brow mode on the rest of it I don't have that much hair so I definitely make sure my brows are very defined And same with this one. I mean, it's so funny. I've done growing my eyebrows for so long, but I still sometimes feel like I have two left hands and not even knowing how to do my brows at times, or they just come out uneven. And I would probably say 40% of what gets me late to things are my eyebrows aren't even. <laughs> and I'm not coming out looking crazy with uneven eyebrows or the shape is off and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate to that but with me even when I'm just on the go every day I just don't want my brows and I feel invincible <laughs> And then I finish up my face with my Fenty foundation and I use number 440. And now it is the cat eye hour. So I use my usual Sephora waterproof liquid liner and I didn't even realize I was running low while filming this video so it did me well I usually go back and forth between that one or the NYX NYX liquid eyeliner and it's with the sharp fine pen
it's amazing of such a difference it makes when you add the eyeliner and because I'm very anal with my cat eye I make sure that shit is sharp so many times I would just go with full face sharp eyeliner but then forget about the eyelashes so I line up my lips with Night Moth and then I'm going to fill in my lips with Pat McGrath's Guinevere or Guinevere, I don't even know, but I put in the captions of how it's spelt, but as far as the pronunciation, not quite sure. Anyways, I feel that any red mixed with Night Moth will have that gorgeous and sexy contrast. Well, thank you for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe.